What is up, witches and wizards, mongols and nomadges? I'm Animagus, and I just woke up. We got some great news in regards to Harry Potter Wizards Unite and being able to play from home. Uh, updates to the way that we can play now, considering that you know Community Day was canceled and um, had to make some changes due to health concerns. Kind of like I mentioned in my last video about Community day being canceled so we kind of bounce back and forth thinking about new ideas and ways that we can uh, play the game from home and they definitely delivered so i'm going to go ahead and go over the blog post right now for you guys so you can kind of check out the update and know exactly what to expect going forward for the next week or two in wizards unite so let's dive right in so if you visit the Harry Potter Wizards Unite blog, I'll leave a link down in the description below. You can definitely check that out. You'll be able to see these updates and follow along with me as well if you so uh, desire. And I'm going to go ahead and read those for you right now. So the following changes are currently going to be implemented in Wizards Unite starting right now. So these things are live currently. Tonic for trace and detection uh, traces will appear more frequently. So when you're using trace detection potion, tons more traces will be showing up. Master Notes for Tonic for Trace Detection will be effective uh, not just at 15% but at 50% cutting the potion's duration uh, for brewing in half. Ingredients that you can find for Tonic for Trace Detection will also be on the map a whole lot more including spell energy on the map which is something that I have been clamoring for forever. Um, I love that they put that on the map. I, I love it on community dates. But I think that it should be on the map always, just like in green. Uh, there will also be traces that appear on the map more frequently. So not just tonic for trace detection traces, but there are also going to be traces that show up more frequently, period. A lot more spawns on the map where you are um, just trying to bring the game to you. Uh, and then, of course, there's also a free store bundle that will be available. Icon Alley featuring four tonics for trace detection. The amount of gifts that can be open each day, praying <laughs> to R and Jesus <laughs> that we get some really good gifts, hoping to uh, to get some really good spellbook gifts so I can send and get out to you guys. Um, I want to be able for you know for this to be a time where even though we are being you know shut down so to speak, or uh, even if you're self quarantine, you can still receive some really cool benefits for this game. I'm also just hoping that there are some of these features that they keep in the game even after uh, the you know everything dies down or whatever happens happens uh, and we're able to uh, to keep some of these features in the game. So there is one more thing that I did want to bring to your attention that uh, hasn't been publicized or hasn't been really talked about. It's definitely not on this blog post, uh, but that is that port key distances have been halved. So you can walk a smaller amount or a smaller distance, I guess, and receive benefits of, you know, like it's a community. Today. You have double distance or half distance for a port key. So that's really incredible. I actually have a port key that I just put a key in yesterday that's a 10K. Very excited to see what foundable I get out of it. And I'm even more excited to know that, you know, I don't have to worry about going out, walking a whole ton. At least still play this game good bit while I am uh, you know kind of dealing with everything that's going on around us uh, but yeah I'm extremely excited for this this is an incredible update it's a great quality of life update and even more importantly an on-the-fly update um, I just want to give you guys a little bit of insight into how difficult it is to make these changes I mean this is essentially like a community day event or um you know a sort of like the magic uh, mischief magic and that's going to be coming up in a few weeks it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort for them to implement these changes into the game so i just want to give a big shout out and a huge thank you to the developers over at wb um and phases of course on the community team she has been absolutely killing it and was just incredibly uh communicative and open with us and uh, saying hey you know we really want to push some features live Sort of like Pokemon did uh, with their, you know, their incense boosts and the cheaper store option. I love that. I think that it is really, really cool that they were willing to do this for us. They didn't have to, but they did because they want the players to uh, to continue to be excited about this game. So I, I'm I'm really, really thankful that we have a developer team on our side uh, because not a lot of companies have that. A lot of people are just looking out for the best way to make a buck. And it is very clear to me that the developers 
and uh, the community team and everybody involved in this process was working really hard. Uh, like just to kind of give you an update, I was getting messages uh, until, you know, three in the morning from from people in the, the Discord server uh, of which I'm a part of that kind of talks about these things. Uh, and and so it, it they were up late and they were they were planning things really really late so um, just thank you again for all of your hard work it's, it does mean a lot to me and I know that it means a lot to other players too daily grinders so thank you guys so very much that is it for today's video I want to thank each and every one of you all for watching this video I um, I'm thankful that we have a team that is that has our back like this. I, I really do. Uh, look forward to seeing some of these things implemented. I just woke up, I just poured my coffee, and my kids aren't even awake yet, so that's how you know it's super freaking early. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and push this video, and I hope that you did enjoy it. If that is the case, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up down below. Uh, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you are made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video. Wash your hands.